Right, quick update on the total crypto market cap, the altcoin market cap, and the others dominance. I literally want to make this like a two or three minute update, so let's jump right into the video. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on these macro moves, so I'm not going to be doing a bunch of uh, minor TA. Uh, but what you can notice from the lows down here, uh, t March 2020, we all know that this was the pandemic scare, moving from one uh, 106 billion all the way up to 3 trillion for the total crypto market cap. Since then, we have started to come down, we have started to capitulate, and the most important level of all is this golden pocket, the 618 fib, the last line in the sand before we do wipe out approximately half a trillion, that's right, 495 billion, approximately 40% of the total crypto market cap might be getting ready to be wiped out. Now, I've been talking about this for a while. Uh, we haven't made like a macro macro move yet. We have, you know, started to trickle down. We are still in this bear flag. Uh, if you do want a tiny bit of micro analysis, you can even argue that maybe we could be playing out something like a head and shoulders. But the fact that we've already started to push down, you know, we, we've basically moved below this shoulder now. So I, I wouldn't call this a head and shoulders anymore. It might still play out. I wouldn't be betting on it. Uh, I am expecting the total crypto market cap and the altcoin market cap to move down. Like I've been saying in my past couple of videos, this is where I think Bitcoin's coming down to. I've been saying this for a while. Let me get rid of this. Uh, the moving average is back. I think we're coming back to the 200 week. And I previously said this would be about 22,000, but you know, this is probably going to play out for the next couple of weeks. So it's more likely to pan out to be around 23,000. So bear in mind, the longer and longer and longer we take, uh, the more we lollygag trend sideways, have a dead cat bounce and then come back down later, the higher this moving average is going to be. And thus the higher the bottom is going to be and the less of a capitulation we're going to have. I still think we're going to move down. That being said, that is the total crypto market cap capitulating below the 618 and also the altcoin market cap. Uh, who would have thought it? Who, who's been talking about altcoins being bearish for the past month now? But once again, the altcoin market cap is doing the same thing. It's in a bear flag. It is moving down once again on the daily. It came up yesterday, confirmed the 0.618 Fibonacci as resistance, and now it started to move down. So I, I'm honestly baffled how I see so, so many people still bullish on altcoins like literally all you need to do is look at the altcoin market cap we're having a macro capitulation below literally the most important level yes if you you, you can argue we might be coming down for like a double bottom or something before we go to the moon i just think that's a little bit of opium i, I really don't think that's going to pan out i think everything that's going on with the interest rates if you're expecting you know altcoins to go up then you're, you're betting against the fed the fed is non-stop increasing the interest rates month over month that is what they're talking about that's what they're planning on doing so the time to be bullish on alt cranes is when the fed pivots if the fed hasn't pivoted there's not a reason to be bullish on alt cranes in my subjective opinion but like i said uh, total alt, uh, total altcoin market cap this is the total crypto market cap excluding bitcoin so obviously altcoin market cap uh capitulating below the 618 fib. i talked about this before apparently i deleted my price target on this but originally we were talking about wiping out about 280 billion now we've got about another 240 billion to go about another 38 percent down uh which could definitely be brutal now wrapping things up with the others dominance uh it's not looking good for this one as well. Now, we're still holding up above the 618. The others have been moderately okay recently. You know, you've got a lot of the moved earns, a lot of uh, new cryptos in here that constitute the others bucket. Uh, the others, it has alt cranes in the, you know, the, the top top 10 top 20 top 125 uh within their own respective uh niches so for example like the move to earns there's a lot of move to earns that might be number one number two number three for the move to earns but they're you know for example spot 100 on the total crypto market cap uh, in terms of all the altcoins so uh, this constitutes cryptos like that others is moving down we've already broken below the 0.5 uh, at this moment in time we haven't come down to the 618 fib but i've been predicting that we're going to have you know about a 29 percent move down almost a 30 percent move actually for the dominance at this moment in time uh, we've only moved down like 2% or so, so uh, 2 or 3%. So I'm still expecting, you know, this to pan out about 27% move down for the others dominance. That is basically all I've got for this video. I did just want to give you a quick update on some of these macro charts. Uh, wrapping up this video, uh, be very, very cautious because the Bitcoin dominance is on a massive, massive rally. It looks like 
we're literally potentially about to come down to 46.5%, confirm this macro W breakout. Bear in mind, this macro W is so, so bullish right now. Uh, the Bitcoin dominance, if you are betting on altcoins, you are betting against the Bitcoin dominance. Bitcoin dominance has been on a massive, massive rampage. So be very, very cautious. Like I've been saying for the past month now, I still do think altcoins are going down. We got our first taste of that slaughter last night uh, when, you know, about 5% of the altcoin market cap was wiped out in one hour. And you can currently see the majority of the altcoins are pretty much in a sea of red. You've got a couple of cryptos against Bitcoin that are up, you know, 1%, half a percent. Uh, some of them are up a couple of percent. But as a, you know, as a majority, most things seem to be down. Uh, that is all I've got. Uh, just to show you what happened on the total crypto market cap. This is the altcoin market cap, rather. I did post this over on my Twitter about 12 hours ago while this was happening. I said almost 5% of the altcoin market cap was wiped out in an hour. Uh, if you do want to follow me over on Twitter, it is here at 618 underscore cowboy. If I see anything uh, important that I want to share on my Twitter before I share it on my YouTube, then definitely head over to there. Uh, that is the place to be. So, altcoin market caps, not looking good right now. Basically, all I've got for you, as always, cowboy out. Peace.